All right, uh, let's look at the homework eight, problem number seven. All right, so we want to find the distance from uh, three comma two comma five. So that's our P, All right, point P. Uh, three comma two comma five. All right, then um, the line, I'm gonna actually rewrite this uh, line uh, this way. All right, so x minus four uh, is same thing as x minus four over one is equal to, all right, I'm gonna multiply top and bottom by negative one so that uh, we can have a z minus three over negative two. Then uh, you have a y is equal to negative one. All right, then uh, we can find q, uh, which is on the, on the line, all right? X component uh, shows up right here. So it's four. And the y component uh, shows up here, negative one. And the z component uh, shows up right here. So that's three. All right, so from here, uh, we can create a uh, vector PQ. All right, so which is going to be four minus three is one, negative one minus two is negative three, and three minus five is negative two. All right, then the direction vector uh, shows up uh, right here. So x component is 1. So v is going to be equal to uh, 1 comma. All right. And um, uh, y component is going to be 0 because uh, y is always negative 1. So it's uh, 0. And the z component shows up here. So it's negative 2. All right, so uh, we can come up with a unit uh, direction vector. So it's uh, u would be just uh, take a uh, v vector. So it's uh, one comma zero comma negative two. Then divide it through by its uh, magnitude, uh, square root of uh, one squared plus uh, zero squared plus negative two squared. So which is four. So we have uh, one over square root of five. So one over square root of five, then one comma zero comma negative two. All right. Then all you really have to do is to find uh, uh, to find the distance. Just find the um, the norm of the cross product p q with uh, uh, unit direction vector, All right? So I'll let you finish that up. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this will get you guys going.